hypocrite now look right sometime the, 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 the new tensor can use and Jesus use now look right but inside of it is your healing inside of it is your anointing inside of it is your blessing you don't look right Hallelujah, Jesus. Jesus picked up the dirt. And I was reading and I said, what if he cough? Before he spit. That's all right. To get some extra anointing. Yeah. <laughs> from the belly. Yeah. What if he cough? I said, give me the spit. Yeah. And the man can't look. He don't know because he can't see. Yeah. He don't know what Jesus had in his hand. Yeah. All he got was faith. He believed that if he trusts God yeah. and he listened to God, yeah. that he would be able to see a once was blind. But when Jesus touched you, Jesus spit in the dirt. Yeah. And by the eyes of faith, the man probably says, What are you doing? Because he can't see what Jesus is doing. He can't see. Jesus probably just said, Just relax. You're in good hands. The great physician, the sympathizing Jesus, is right by you. Not a regular brother, but the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the conquering lion, the great physician is here, brother. Don't worry about a thing, every little thing. This man had few friends. This man was a beggar. Yes. Nobody paid any attention. Oh All they knew, man, is a blind man yes. who always. Yes. And you don't like when you take the trains in the morning? Yes. You see the same person. Yes. Am I talking to you? It's true, man. I'm I take the train in every morning. I saw a young man down there. And every morning, he gave me a different story. story. I know. Sometimes I say, probably forget what he said to me yesterday. Yeah. The last time was Friday, he said, I'm going for an interview. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I need some money for lunch and bus fare. Amen. The day before that, he said, I got married, I have a young baby. Uh -huh. And he needs some similar. Uh -huh. And the story goes on. But he tends to forget yeah, what he said. Yeah. All because he have a need. Yeah. This man have a need. Yeah. But he, Jesus gave him a story to tell that the world didn't have and the world knew about Jesus. All who didn't know about Jesus, knew about him. But Jesus, give me your eyes. You can imagine by the eyes of faith, the anointing hands. The hands that the nails carn, full of spit and mud. And he pasted it over his eyes and said, no, go wash. Go wash. And the man was an obedient man. He go wash. And when he finished washing, miracle happened. If you're obedient to God, your miracle will come true. Your victory will come true. He was obedient. He was humble. And because of his humility, so many years he was there. Begging. But not until Jesus. And many of us will be in a situation. And we will never come out of the situation until Jesus yes, yes. passed by. Yes, yes, amen. It's something when Jesus passed by, yes. the tempter's power yes. is broken. Hallelujah. 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 When Jesus passed by, all tears are wiped away. Yes. He washed his eyes. Yes. I can imagine how that man was running. Mm -hmm. When for the first time in his life, he see what he looks like. Have you ever thought about it if it wasn't for a mirror? Many of us would have no idea what we look like. Yes, we could see others what they look like. But if they didn't make a mirror, we would have no idea what we look like. For the first time, the man was able to see the world. For the first time, he was able to see what he looks like. He went and spread the word. They thought he was mad. Sometimes when God delivers you, you see them running up in church, let them run. Because mm -hmm. you don't know what God has done for them. Amen. When you start running, run for Jesus. Yeah. No matter
Nobody know what you've been through. Yeah. Nobody know what you've been through. Yeah. But Jesus knows all about your troubles. Yeah. So you want to praise him? Praise him. Yeah. Nobody knows where you've been and where you are now with God. Yeah. And what God take you through. Yeah. Yeah. He was born blind. Yeah. Couldn't see. Jamaica would say your mother do not put my stick. Couldn't see a thing. And he spread the word. The Pharisees, all the Jews, didn't believe him. They believed Moses, but they didn't believe that a man named Jesus healed him. Some say, isn't that the man that always begged? Isn't that the man that always blind was blind once? He said, I am the man. But how can you can see? He said, one day I was sitting down and a man named Jesus. Yes, Lord. A man named Jesus passed by. They said, we don't believe you. Mm -hmm. Go get your parents. Yes. The scripture said, go get your parents yes. and bring them over here. Yes. I can imagine when the mother and father come. Mm -hmm. You have a son for life. Yeah. Couldn't see a thing. But all of a sudden, he he's able to yes. see. Yes. Many of us was blind in sins and oh, trespasses. Yes. Oh, yes. Until yes. one day Jesus removed the veil. Yes. And we're able to see how good and Gracious God is. Yes. He changed our talk. He changed our walk. He changed our look. Yes. And he spread the word. Yes, Lord. He spread the word of God. Yes, Jesus. They called the parents. I said, come. Is this your son? The mother and father said, yes. yes. This is my son. Amen, amen. Wasn't he born blind? Yes. He was born blind. Yes. But can he see? Yes. Amen. He can see now Amen. what happened. Jesus touched him. Amen. Jesus touched him. Amen. Jesus touched him. Amen. Jesus touched him. Amen. The hand of God touched his eyes. Amen. The hand of God touched him. Amen. And he once was blind. But now he can see. He can see. He can see. When Jesus touched you, you will never be the same. When Jesus touched you. Father God, hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Many times I say, if it wasn't for God, many of us would be cursing. Mm -hmm. The same situation that we're in, mm -hmm. if God wasn't mm -hmm. on the inside, yes. talk to me. Yes. Rikers Island mm -hmm. would be our temporary yes. home. I'm telling you. Am I talking to you? The penitentiary. Yes. Just a rabbit will be our, 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 our temporary home. Jesus. Like I give you a joke. I like to shine my shoes. And I shine my shoes every morning. Shine. And I go on the train and I sit down. And I put my shoes under the seat so nobody will step on it. <laughs> and every morning when I get to Roosevelt. Roosevelt Avenue. It doesn't matter how far back. I put my shoes, somebody come and stand up because that's where I close up people, come on. Yeah. And they put their foot under the chair. Find your shoes. <laughs> right on the shoes. Oh, boy. That's big time shining. And I look up at them and they close their eyes. <laughs> I'm looking for them to say sorry. Yeah. They step on my shoes. Yes. But nobody says sorry. No, if Jesus wasn't on the inside, talk to me. If God wasn't on the inside, I step on them shoes, I mash them too. But when Jesus come in, it makes a difference. The talk you used to have, you talk different. The ways you used to have, you talk, you act different. You're a new man when Jesus come in. The blind man was different. No, we don't have to beg no more. Yes. Fix up your resume, no. Yes. Do God, God came in. Yes. Jesus touched him. Yes. Fix up your resume, blind man. Yes. You're no more blind. Yes. They was looking down at you. Yes. They looked down at you. Yes. But when Jesus...